This thing did have less than 700 defense. I could have done the stupid baby head thing. Wait a minute. I didn't destroy. I didn't destroy the moving fortress. Why did I bother summoning this thing? <laughs> oh well. Decided to give this game a go. Do they give you a competent starter deck this time? Uh, you have a psychic deck for the start of the game that's pretty competent. And then when they give you your own deck, they also give you access to um. They immediately give you access to starter decks or uh, structure decks so you can buy a decent starting deck. This is a less than ideal position, by the way, but it's going to be fine because we can just uh, soul take her. And then do a lot of direct attacking. And we have Book of Life to special summon back that zombie we just lost. Yeah, this is going to be okay. What is this? Is this card a safe return? Okay, that's not too bad. Especially because I'm about to special something something from the grave. Get rid of you. Yeah, we're gonna take 600 damage, that's fine. Play this. Do this. Special summon you. We'll remove you from play. Card of safe return will let me draw a card. Useful. Explain that when your opponent declares an attack while you control a monster, take control of one phase of monster your opponent controls, except the attacking monster until the end of the battle phase is attacked instead. What a weird card. Very specific set of circumstances. Well, I'm worried about what this kid could summon next, but we're in a decent position. I would really like to summon or to draw some kind of a tribute monster we could make use of. That would help out a lot right now. Because I have all these weak 1000 attack point might things in play. Do you think that thing also has less than 700 defense? And I could finally use the little baby thing? Dare I try? Ooh, what is this? You normal summon this card without tributing. If you do, this card is sent to the graveyard during the end phase. If it is the only zombie type monster on the field, when it is sent to the graveyard by this effect, you take damage equal to its attack. I'm just gonna tribute. I accidentally said not tribute. Rip, didn't mean to do that. I wanted to tribute for it. Oh, this is the majestic mech card, but like an evil version of it. That's cool. I'm, I wanted to tribute one of these weak uh, mites for it to be safe, but too little too late. All right, did not have less than 700 defense. Wouldn't have worked. Do I win here? I definitely would have won if I destroyed the face down with one of these marionettes, but I didn't think it would work. No, I don't win here. It's gonna have, she's gonna have like 800 life points. Close, but not quite. Yo, this is malevolent mech looks really cool. Really cool design. Well, we should about have this in the bag. I find it unlikely this kid could pull it out other than like mirror force. Or not mirror force, lightning vortex I meant. All right, well, that'll be game. Die. Moi Kai, chat. One more. We need one more. One more thing. Aya, Jackie. Magic must defeat magic. All right, third one. I don't know what deck would be best to use here. Warrior decks are usually pretty good. Invincible Fortress, an Exod defense deck, huh? Okay, that could either be really easy to deal with or really annoying. Come on, top deck be with me. This could be worse. Burden of the Mighty is great. No monster cards is pretty rough, but thankfully we have a uh, reinforcement of the army. Bum, bum. I don't have Command Knight, really. This card is treated as a normal monster. His is a Gemini, yada, yada, yada. 
Send one face of a quick card you control to the graveyard to destroy a card your opponent controls. Sure, I mostly just care that you're a four-star 1900 attack monster. Bum. Select one normal monster from your graveyard, special summon it, and face up attack position. When this card is removed from the field, destroy that monster when that monster is removed. Okay, I get it. All Gemini monsters on your side of the field, when this card is activated or treated as effects and gain their effects during the end phase, set all monsters affected by this card. Oh, you set them. Interesting. I'm gonna throw down Kunai with Chain and Burden of the Mighty. I'm gonna keep Sakuretsu in hand just in case she has something like Heavy Storm. Just in case. A little worried about that face down, but what are you gonna do? When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can send one Gemini monster from your deck to the graveyard and draw one card. Featherizer. Interesting card. You can only activate this card when your opponent declares an attack. Your opponent selects one random card in your hand and calls the type. If your opponent calls it wrong, the attacking monster is returned to the hand. I hate this. I'm gonna guess spell. Monster. Oh, this is gonna be annoying, I can already tell. This is going to be a very annoying deck. And that monster we saw was 2,000 defense, which a lot of them are probably gonna be. Yeah, this is gonna be really annoying. I'm just gonna go for it again. Ordeal of a Traveler is such a stupid card. Monster. Now it's a spell. Uh, we're gonna be sitting through this for a while. No telling what those other face downs are. Until this kid plays brain control, I am now going to guess spell every single time. Uh oh. Set, of course. It was giant rat, I'm kinda glad I never destroyed it. The equip monster is destroyed by battle and sent to the grave. Special summon it to your side of the field during the end phase. Weird. What if I just wait and use this guy's ability to start destroying some cards? Namely, Ordeal of a Traveler and that tributed face down. Oh, yeah. Right. It's this. This is going to be very annoying. Like, very annoying. Should have put down Sakuretsu armor. I forgot about this card that it, like, puts all this stuff into your hand. I should have put down Sakuretsu armor. I could have killed it right here. Shout out to Burden of the Mighty. Well, he's gonna end up doing the same thing again so I can get him with Sakuretsu this time. This warrior deck is not at all what I was expecting, by the way. It's, a, it's not a warrior deck. It's a super weird Gemini deck. It's a very weird Gemini deck, and I do not like it. I do not like this deck at all. I wanted, like, Command Knights, Marauding Captains, like, Tribute for Gear Free, the Swordmaster, etc. Instead, we've got this nonsense. A 
Okay, so now we hit Guardian Sphinx with Sakuretsu. Goodbye. Okay, so now we don't have to deal with that. Summon out our Gemini again, but this time we give a big bang shot and have it attack the, attack the Moe, and then we hope that the Ordeal of a Traveler lucks into um, brain control, because I doubt she put brain control face down. That would be weird. Too many dang cards. Big bang shot. Well, not doing that. Oh wait, I'll discard a spell for this. Yeah, get rid of that. Here we go. Ordeal of the Traveler stopping your attack is one thing, but also putting the monster back into your hand is such trash. I hate it. Thank goodness. She hasn't been summoning any other monsters, so I assume she assumes she just hasn't drawn any yet. If we can just if she can just brick a little bit so I can focus on hitting her before she draws monsters, we'd be in such a good spot. She's gonna use brain control. That's annoying because that's a spell out of her hand. Yeah, I'll dark bribe here. I don't like dark bribe because I don't like letting the opponent draw more. She did get a monster. Ectoplasma! That sucks! That sucks a lot. Oh, I hate this Gemini deck, dude. I do not like it. I'm gonna summon this thing to get hit with Ectoplasma. And then I'm just gonna have to hope that I call the right card in her hand. It's gotta be another spell, right? Otherwise she would've put it face down. So it's another ordeal of a traveler. Oh, I hate this card! I hate this card so much. Ordeal of a traveler is such an annoying card. Oh my goodness. Still not drawn another monster, by the way. Your main phase, you can put this face down defense. When this card is flipped, you can switch the original attack and defense of one face up earth monster on the field until the end of the turn. Okay. Still gonna do very little thanks to Burden of the Might. Well, not very little, but a pretty good, a pretty low amount. I think it looks like Goldramon. Reminds me of Goldramon. But like, more like a Spectro. another Guardian Sphinx, which is going to be a major headache to deal with. Can I Exiled Force a face-down monster? Yeah. This duel is going to take so long. Oh my goodness, this rocked out. Oh, it's, uh, what is that? When a monster is returned from the field to the owner's hand, the owner of the return monster selects and sends one card in their hand to the graveyard. Oh yeah, that would really suck. I have a lot of cards that can summon stuff like normal monsters, AKA this Gemini monster back from the grave. So I just need to start using her Ectoplasma to deal damage. Summoning it, letting Ectoplasma proc to hit her and then using all of these summon back cards to summon it back and then Ectoplasma it again. Is that just a break? Okay. I 
cannot believe this this deck is the definition of clickbait, by the way. Oh, I forgot about Ordeal of the Traveler. Why did I attack? I just attacked on instinct. It's got to be the other Ordeal of the Traveler. Thank you. Get out of here. This, this face down rock deck is so annoying. But like, it, it says, yeah, this is a warrior deck. Actually, it's like the world's most jank Gemini deck of all time. Talk about false advertising. Bum, bum, bum. Go ahead and birth right here. She didn't draw a monster, which is amazing. We can actually potentially get some damage off as long as we luck into... I'm going to choose Trap Card because I know Ordeal of the Traveler is in her hand. We just need to luck into picking the right one. You know, it might have been better to summon him here and then use his ability with... Uh, well, no, because he doesn't have an Equip Card. We wouldn't be able to use his ability. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm guessing Trap. Let's go. She just has a bunch of trap cards in her hand, you idiot. You played yourself. At least two of your three cards are traps. This is so deserved. This kid's structure deck is so annoying. Kex, welcome to stream. How you doing? Big damage. Oh yeah, and I still have to ectoplasm, I forgot. I'm gonna get rid of this one because I can summon him back with Silent Fiend. We just need two more ectoplasm procs. So close yet so far. Oh no, what is this? That's annoying. This thing's gonna get removed from play by attacking DD Warrior. Not even gonna do it. Okay, well, it's gonna get killed by Ectoplasma. That's fine. If DD Warrior's attack gets through, we win. Silent Doom! Come on, trap card. At least two of those three cards are trap cards. Come on, trap card. Let's go, all three of them are trap cards. Let's go. You get what you friggin' deserve, idiot. Told you we'd beat this kid three times in a row. Thanks for throwing down Ectoplasma. It made it a lot easier for me. Ectoplasma is such a bad card. I hate Ectoplasma. That was three in a row, right? Please tell me that was three. I don't have time to do another duel, especially if it's going to be as long as that one. I did it. Well, I actually lost three whole times in a row. I admit it, you're even luckier than I am, and here's proof of your victory. Yeah, yeah, whatever, kid. It's all of that for skill drain. I've always thought to myself I wanted to do a skill drain deck. Bum, 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 bum. Open up. What's up, dudes? Ah, oh, you delivered it? Well, that sure helps me out. And right on time, too, we just finished our work. Sorry, but I've got another favor to ask. I have to go out now. Could you house sit for me just for the night? Sure thing. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. All right, well, we'll house sit for Blister when we come back next time. But I think we are just going to wrap up here for today. A new pack has been added to the shop. Oh, a new structure deck we can buy next time. Let's go. Very pog. But yeah, we'll just wrap up here for today. We'll check out the card shop, do some random duels, and continue the story. We got through Chapter 3 really quick because it forces you to just focus on it until you're done with it. So we'll probably do some random duels next time, but also progress the story because I do want to get to the Darksiders pretty soon. 
Oh, stretch. We're uh, definitely past halfway through the main story of the game, so, you know. I don't know how many more streams we'll have. It depends on how many random duels I want to do. So we'll we'll see how it goes. But yeah, for those of you watching on YouTube, if you want to catch streams live, link to my Twitch channel in the description. I'd love to see you there. Or keep watching on YouTube. I appreciate your support either way. And until next time, farewell. <laughs>